Good afternoon, world. You know what I realized today? My whole life, adult life, I have heard, you're so lucky. And you know what my definition of luck is? Hard work, saving money, and planning. Yeah. Didn't have a thing to do with luck. I'm here at Armstrong, my go-to place for everything wonderful in these redwood trees, oh my god, um, to continue. And there's a bit of um, that just happened to you in You're So Lucky. And you know what it comes down to? I think there's an issue of laziness um, when people are jealous because it's like, um, you didn't see the five years of writing I did every day before my book got published. <laughs> and so it seems like I might have been just lucky. No. Anybody I know that has a successful business or is an author or has done something amazing, accomplished some incredible feat, worked their ass off. There isn't anybody I know that was just lucky. Um, seriously. So the next time you want to say that to somebody, pause and consider what that person went through to get where they are. You know, a lot of people, many people, go through um, extreme poverty, horrible childhoods, bankruptcy a number of times, a lot of businesses go under, um, and big problems, health problems that they've overcome, that we've overcome. I mean, I include myself in it. Um, I cooked professionally for four years. You don't know what cooking is until you've sweated in a tiny kitchen with three other people in a top-notch restaurant. You can barely move <laughs> for hours because you're cooking. This is a high-end restaurant. And people would say, you should have your own restaurant. Like, that was such an easy thing to do. No, it's not easy. Um, uh, and I didn't want to do it because I didn't want more of the same. I didn't love cooking. So if you're going to start your own business, start it in something that you love. That's the thing. So, over and out. Um, I'm going to walk in the trees. I'll see you in the next video.